Kamara has lived in project-based housing using a voucher for the past year. Everything was going well, and she was friendly with Harry, the property manager. That changed when she started wearing a hijab to cover her hair. Amara exits and greets neighbors. Harry approaches her. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good to see you. Good, thanks. Good to see you. Hi, Harry. Hey, Amara. How you doing? Good, I've been busy. How about you? Good, good. Is that my package? Yep, right here. Are you okay? Uh, that thing you're wearing on your head. <laughs> Is it all the time now? Yeah, I don't get what's up with you. Harry, it's a hijab. Muslim women wear it. Yeah. Muslim women, not American women. I am American and I am Muslim. It's who I am. You know, you have such pretty hair. If you were to take that off, the whole world would be no, able no. to see Stop. Stop. how Stop. beautiful... Stop. Oh, my... Sheesh. Harry sees a man leaving Amara's apartment. Harry immediately goes to Amara's front door and knocks on it. Amara! It's Harry! Hello, Harry. I gotta talk to you. What's wrong? I see a lot of Muslim types coming in and out of your apartment. I don't like it. What do you mean you don't like it? I mean, what are they doing here? I mean, where are they coming from? You move in and now I got terrorists in this building? Terrorists? My friends aren't terrorists. You're just saying that because you hate Muslims. You're so ignorant, Harry. Yeah, look, you want to stay here? Lose the head thing and keep those people out of here. Harry's remarks about Amara's religious faith, including warnings she would not be able to stay in her apartment unless she stopped wearing her hijab, calling her friends terrorists and suggesting she is un-American, continued for several weeks. Amara makes calls to report Harry's behavior, one to the property owner. Yes, he thinks all Muslims are terrorists. He even threatened to evict me. He can't evict you. No. Nope. Don't worry. I'll talk to him. And another to the Public Housing Authority, which opens an investigation. I'm very sorry this has happened and you can be sure that I will investigate. This reprimand is in your permanent file now. Harry, you can't just interfere with a person's religious choice and threaten to evict her just because you don't like her faith. Harassment isn't just wrong, it's illegal. It's illegal? Yes, illegal. Any further harassment of this tenant, or, or any other tenant, I'll have to suspend or are you? Yes, you absolutely have the right to file a Fair Housing Act complaint with HUD. Okay, great. I just want to make sure that this stops and it doesn't happen to anyone else. Yes, I agree completely. Now you can file a complaint with HUD online or by phone. Do you have a pen and paper nearby? Yes, yes I do. Okay. The website is www.hud.gov. And the phone number is 1-800-669-9777. Thank you.